Dr Rupa. Thank you, Mr Speaker. We've just heard about horizon uncertainty. Add that with no more European structural funds and R&D underinvestment. And we're hurtling down the global rankings for clinical research trials. So much so, he just mentioned life sciences. But last week, Novaris, the Swiss pharma giant, pulled out of a trial, major trial it was going to be for cardiovascular drugs in this country for that very reason. When are they going to admit that rather than this being an example of the confidence in the world-beating post-Brexit life sciences sector that the ex-health secretary who went to the jungle claimed it would be at the time, this shows what an unmitigated disaster Brexit has been. And when will they fix this mess? Well, here we go. Labour talking Britain down again. And the truth is, I'm not at all complacent about the clinical trials numbers, and we'll be setting out at the Life Science Council in the next few weeks a very clear plan to reverse the decline since the pandemic uh, in the NHS. But she might have mentioned the major investment coming into West London, hard part of the, hard part of the world, the MedTech super connector, the spin outs there, Sin City, uh, Sim, uh, Synthetic Biology City. And she might at least acknowledge also the major investment from Moderna and BioNTech, billions into this country, uh, laying the foundation for a next phase of life science uh, innovation. The life science sector, we're in a global race, but we are still leading in the technologies of tomorrow.